Do you dress that way every night for my brother? We were talking about Brooke. Would you have dressed that way for me if we'd gotten married? Ridge. You wouldn't have. Do you know why? All right, why? Because I wouldn't have let you. No nightgowns, no pajamas. Just you. Well, my husband doesn't make those demands on me. Oh, sorry about that. You don't know what you're missing. But as for Logan, no, I didn't ask her to marry me. Well, I feel much better. Good night and good judgment. I asked you to live with me. This time, I'm sure you're pulling my leg. No, the truth. I asked her. You asked her to move in? Mm-hmm. Where? Right here. In this house? Sure, why not? Thorne moved you in here. Because Thorne and I were married. Does your mother know about this? <laughs> no. No, but I imagine you're damn anxious to tell her, though. I don't think she's going to like it. For the same reason you don't? Not so much for the living arrangement, but just because it's Logan? And what was Brooke's reaction? She's thinking about it. Do you ever have any intention of marrying Brooke? I'd rather have you. Stop joking, Ridge. I'm not joking. And you know it. You and I, Caroline. Haven't you proved your point by now? You married Thorne to teach me a lesson. OK, I've learned my lesson. But it's here. I feel it every time we're together. It's the way you look at me. God knows you feel it from me. But if you want to go on playing this game with Thorn, just know I'll be playing it with Brooke. Despite whatever you may think, she is one terrific lady. Yeah, but you want the one that got away. How much of that is ego, Ridge? Oh, there's ego there, sure. There's also one hell of a lot of love and passion and wanting to hold you and make you come alive as no man has ever done before. Well, why don't you go on upstairs now to this man you call your husband? And Caroline, I wish you well with him. But I don't think he's man enough for you. There. I've said it. Sorry if I went too far. <laughs> 